Hello, today we're going to show you how to carpet line around the edge of the window of your van. This is a much neater way and a better, more factory looking finish than using U-Trim. You'll find that all professional conversion companies will use this method. Firstly, you'll save yourself the cost of having to buy and use U-Trim, but more importantly, the overall finish is a lot better. Any fixed panel can be done this way, so the panel behind the driver or the two rear quarter windows. You tend to find people will still use U-Trim or J-Trim on doors, so barn doors, tailgate or the slide door as it's common to just carpet line the center panels on the doors where possible the best way to do it is to carpet line the metalwork of the van leaving the carpet 10 to 15 millimeters longer around the hole where you've cut the window from you'll notice that where you've cut the center support beam out where the window was you've got a slightly thicker section shown here so you may need to leave the carpet a little bit longer there once you're happy that the carpet's the right length and you've trimmed back where necessary, you can now fit the window. Just follow the simple steps on one of our other YouTube videos for the fitting process. And grab a buddy to help you line the window up. Once you're happy that the window's lined up and helmed firmly in place with tape, go around to the inside of the vehicle and tuck the excess carpet into the gap left between the window and the metalwork of the van where the adhesive is. Just slowly work your way around, taking up any slack with your fingers and using a hook tool to press the carpet into that gap. Uh, it's more awkward underneath the sliding window rail as the gap is smaller. But as long as you use a hook tool and don't rush it, you can get a really nice, neat, factory looking finish. Fixed windows are obviously a lot easier as you don't have the rail in the way. When you get to the drainage channel on the window, you may need to just get a sharp razor blade and cut some of the excess carpet away. This drainage channel will be butted right up to the metalwork so there won't be room to tuck the carpet down behind it. Continue all the way around the window and do the same Then the side should be easier if you've not got a frame there for a sliding window. Of course it's helpful to have extra lighting in there, um, we just use a head torch as you can see here just to help light the area better. The carpet should just reach the window bond um, so it will lock it nice and tightly and neatly in place. Once you're happy that it's all nice and neat, um, pop around the other side and just make sure that the window hasn't been pressed away from the panel at all. Just make sure it's still nice and neat to the panel while the adhesive goes off. And there you have it, a much nicer, neater finish than if you'd used U-Trim. And it's also saved you the cost of the rubber.